Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do a coolant flush on a, a Mark 1 MX-5. It's the same process for other MX-5s uh, and most of the cars. I've actually taken out the expansion tank because I'm going to clean that already, but because it's not part of the circuit, it's okay. Um, I'm going to be using Wind's radiator flush. So I've dropped the coolant already. Uh, make sure you catch it and dispose it correctly because um, dogs and cats <coughs> like it because it tastes sweet and they will die because it, it's toxic. Um, so essentially for best performance you can do it with um, by pouring this straight into the coolant but for best cleaning and best performance of the um, of the flush just drop the coolant that you have, fill the radiator with water. So yeah pour the whole bottle in Make sure you always read the instructions of whichever product you're using, but um, they're all fairly similar, so essentially drop the coolant. So yeah, once fill it with water, run the engine for 10 or so minutes at a fast idle, you, and the heater on hot. You want to make sure that the thermostat opens. Once your radiator's full, make sure in all of the cars that you um, fit the expansion tank in and fill it up with water. Um, in my case it's not a problem because I don't have the thermostat fitted so the water will circulate regardless of the, if the engine's hot or cold. So I'm just going to fire it up and see what's that. So once the engine has cooled down, um, open the radiator cap and uh, you'll sometimes see there's uh, some foam in here. Um, that's because it's essentially detergent, what we've put in to clean the inside of the cooling system. Um, drop the water with the flush fishing thing. I've got an aftermarket radiator and it's this big bolt, but on MX-5s um, there's a plastic bolt in the middle of the radiator which you can take out. Um, if you can't take it out, because the plastic ones are very often rounded, you can actually take out the um, lower radiator hose and that does the same thing. So take this one off. This is okay to drain on the floor because um, it's essentially only water with a det detergent. There's no chemicals. If your water is still hot, you can burn yourself, Ooh, which is a bit in this case still. And essentially, drain it out. Um, what I would do um, to, instead of just filling with coolant again, is I'd fill it up with water again, run another heat cycle to make sure um, you get any detergent that uh, you've got in the car completely out, drain it again and once you've done that um, you're okay to refill it up again. So um, any questions let me know down below. Cheers. You can actually see, I don't know if you can see through the camera, but that is actually foam still left from the flush. So I'd probably do it two or three times the complete flush um, with the um, fresh water before you fill up with coolant. So I ended up doing the process of fill, running the engine for a couple of minutes, drain, fill, run the engine for a couple of minutes and drain um, about four times until I was happy that it uh, had no foam left and nothing like that. In my case it was easy because there's no thermostat fitted. If your car has the thermostat fitted, which it should have, um, 
then every time you do that you should wait for the engine to come up to temperature thermostat to open um, and then you're ready to drain well wait for it to cool down and then drain um, so yeah uh, I think I'm happy I'm not gonna fill it with coolant because there's, there's a couple of hoses I need to change but at that point you could just fill with coolant and that's it